Hello again, adventurers. Today we're coming to you from the Madonna RV Show. Welcome back to Clark Adventures. Today we're coming to you from the uh, Madonna RV Show here in San Luis Obispo near the Madonna Inn at the field and it is huge. There are RVs from local RV uh, dealers here in the area and we're going to go through. Going to concentrate, see, on uh, some of the smaller uh, trailers that we're uh, kind of in the market for, but there are some nice big ones right here. Here's a micro mini Winnebago. Okay, think uh, Bed in the front looks like maybe a full king size. And the kitchen right here, TV, the control panel right at the entrance. Uh, this is a rear bunk, not what we're in the market for, but maybe have a non bunk version. Shower, bathroom, nope, a Dometic. Plastic throne, over the range microwave, two burner stove. It's probably a, yeah, convection microwave. So that's this one. It'd be in the running, but we would want no bunkhouse. Here's another micro mini. This one, the 2108 FBS. More what we're looking for larger bed looks like queen size in the front storage on either side nice good size sink yep stainless i'm guessing three burner stove here yep three burner stove Another over-the-range uh, convection microwave. TV over here. You got a we got opens. And that's more of the couch style I'm looking at. Rear bath. Um, it does have a looks like a sliding prefer a retractable and I'm thinking yep the do same Dometic toilet very small vanity right there nice I'm guess and Dometic maybe yeah, it looks like the regular dual fuel refrigerator maybe 12 volt is available I don't know all right so that's the micro mini 28 F2108 FBS. Here's the Micro Mini 1708 FB. It's a pretty yeah. small and tight rear entry door. Bed in the front again, but looks like sideways. Look like you have a similar kitchen, dining and uh, the rear bath very small tv in the back and your control panel right at the entrance jbl looks like music system audio system a little bit smaller than i think what we're looking for but nice this one uh, no slides the other one did have a slide out for that uh, the seating and the table. Well, that one's sold. We can't uh, go inside, but that's okay. It's a bunkhouse, not the BH. We're not looking for that. It's another micro mini, the FLX, but it's a 2306 BHS which means it's a bunkhouse 
Looks like it has a Murphy bed up front, but the bunkhouse, I mean, for us, that's a waste. We don't have any little kids or anything. I guess you could take the bunks out, but the uh, dining looks like on a slide. On to the next. All right, here's something more our size. The hitch, I'm gonna check some of these out. This looks like a 17 footer bed in the front. Again, laying uh, left to right. And it's a bunkhouse. All right, moving on. Here's another 18 footer, but an 18 BHS, which means that's gonna be a bunkhouse again. Similar layout. Bunkhouse in the back. It's like the uh, dinette on a slide. Not for us. We found some Jayco's over here. Let's take a look at those. So this first one is pretty small. 154BH, which BH, of course, you know what that stands for. Uh, the bunkhouse. Rear bath, although I do like that bathroom, the tub. I like this layout. There's no bunk. Have a little more room. Let's take a look at another model. Most of these Jayco J flights were uh, bunk houses, but here's a 195 RB. Oh, it's again just a small trailer, but this sort of work. It's a little smaller than we want. No bunk house. Uh, nice. Pretty good sized tub and bath. Oh, plastic toilet. I think they should make the uh, fans in here. The Max fans. Standard. I keep wondering why they don't make that. Good sized bed. Two burner stove. Uh, that sink's a little small. I would give up a few inches of counter space for a larger sink. But uh, yeah, that's a little too small for a kitchen sink. So this might be just a little too small for us, but I like the layout. See this Jayco J Feather Micro. I'm gonna check this out. I'm a little concerned this back door means it goes to a bunkhouse. And looking inside the window, looks like it does. So, it's a nice trailer though. Uh, the J Feather Micro. At the bed, TV above the end of the bed here. And yeah, bunkhouse there and a bath in the rear. Here's another Jayco. This is the 166 BFS, or I'm sorry, FBS. So take a look inside. Oh, that's what I like. I like the uh, comfy couch or uh, a rubber recliner. Either way, it looks like a, um, again, the bed's kind of sideways. I wouldn't mind a Murphy bed. TV right here on the wall, which I'm sure swings out if needed to view on the bed. Uh, storage, a couple of drawers there. Um, looks like that is solid. So that must be outdoors. It does have a three burner stove for a small trailer. That's good size. And I do like, nope. This is another tiny sink. I don't like that for your kitchen sink. That's just not, not doable for us. If you're on uh, microwave, because there's a, oh, no oven, so probably, no, it looks like just a microwave. You have to figure out, you could bring a uh, air fryer or something if you want to bake. Um, decent storage. Looks like this is a small slide for the couch, bathroom, decent size, Re uh, rear bath, small sink. That's almost as big as the kitchen sink. Um, these all have plastic toilets. Yeah, and this is just a couple of local RV uh, dealers locally, um, Sky River and uh, California RV Outlets. So they're gonna only there will be no uh, 
We do not wrap. Grand design, the one we've been looking at. That looks like your typical dual fridge, yeah, uh, propane, electric. Um, it's pretty, but that doesn't do a lot for me. I also am not really keen on this dark, dark wood inside. Makes it feel really small. Although I like these uh, under the bed storage units. That's pretty neat. Nice for storage. But again, sideways bed, not my favorite. I have to crawl over. Here's some more Jayco's. Uh, looks like a 25 footer. That's a bit longer than I care for. I'd like to be under 25, we can. So it'll be a little more nimble. But I like that outdoor kitchen. Take it side. And uh, of course, love the, uh, you got both the, uh, Looks like a reclining sofa and a dinette. Oh, lots of room with that slide. I guess the extra length gives you lots of space. Uh, corner type kitchen. Looks like, yes, a three burner stove um, and a small oven underneath, as well as the microwave on top. And this one right now, running $10,000 during the show. This runs the October 6th through the 10th here at the Madonna Inn in San Luis Obispo. Um, save almost 10 grand right now during the show. This is a little high. I do like the way this bed, I like, I really like this bedroom. And the sliding, it's like a sliding door. Outlets on both sides of the bed storage on either side and above uh, still have a dinette so you can actually recline and lounge and somebody could work at the table or play games so this is and this is we think we looked at one just like this very large uh, bathroom but huge because you could do the elbow test on that toilet and you know could go big 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 um not my favorite kind of uh, shower door. I wish I had the retractable self-cleaning bin, but it's not it's not terrible. Could even probably change that out. But look at all that counter space. I'm sure my wife would have uh, room for all her hair and beauty products and a little space below to store it. Not a lot of under storage here, but big cabinets on top. And so this is the Jayco and this was the 25 foot and you're right inside this up storage. Oh, big pantry or storage closet right inside the door behind the TV. And your control panel. So this is nice, a little larger than we want. This is a Forest River Wildwood Heritage Glen. Looks like a 22 footer. Looks really nice from the outside. I only see one storage out, exterior storage out here. Lots of room when you walk in. Again, huge or a pretty large bathroom. Lots of floor space. And this is the kind of a shower type curtain I like that retractable. Uh, lots of light in the shower, very comfortable. Not really keen on the bath, but it's acceptable. You got counter space on either side. Cabinet right here. I don't know why you wouldn't just go straight across. Make the whole thing a cabinet. Some hanging storage in here. And uh, when you walk right in, again, a large closet pantry right inside. So you don't have a lot of exterior storage. There's a nice big storage panel right there. Oh, fireplace under the TV and the sound system. Three burner stove. Yep. Microwave, small, small oven, drawer for pots and pans underneath. And that's the kind of sink you want. Nice big, it's plastic, but would prefer stainless, but that's a nice sink. Love the couch with the, uh, 
know what you call that, kind of a love seat almost. Or, oh, refrigerator. So over here next to the couch. So literally you can sit on the couch, grab a cold one while you're seated right there. Nice small bedroom, looks maybe full, possibly a queen size bed. Looks like storage on either side. And cubbies in the back. There's your, uh, for outlets, recharging your phone. Uh, got storage up top. One of these on either side of the bed for hanging storage or your closet, hanging clothes. Looks like a blackout shade, pull down shade. And the exit is the window, window on the either side. All right. This is pretty nice in the size and with the slide out, plenty of uh, floor space and leg room. And uh, uh, the rear is almost all bathroom. And with a sliding door, lots of space, room to change or get dressed. This could be in the running. It, uh, checks off, ticks a lot of the boxes for us. This is the 22RBHL, made in the USA. Nice uh, awning, looks like a motorized awning, goes the whole length, outdoor speakers, outdoor plugs. TV out here, even a place to hook up your dog. All right, so keep that one in mind. 22 foot Forest River Wildwood Heritage Glen. Right next to it, looks like a 23. This could be a bunkhouse. Well, well let's find out. See the model on this one. It is another Wildwood Heritage Glen. Yep, that'd be, you got a rear bunk, which wouldn't be terrible. We could use that for uh, storage, but it does eat up uh, some of your interior space. Like this uh, bathroom, kind of at an angle. Shower, good size, looks like the retractable shower door itself that's nice this one has a dinette big u-shaped dinette again the large sink everything over here looks like similar and exactly the same as the last one we were in only difference is instead of a really big bathroom you share it with the bunk in the back got the regular fridge Domatic fridge, I'm guessing. Looks like a gas and propane. This one a little, a little more money. Uh, 58, and, oop, almost 20, yeah, 20 grand off during the uh, show. All right, let's keep looking. A couple of R pods over here. Don't know that we're gonna go that route. Let's look. Talk to one of the uh, salesmen and he said it looks for another model over here that might match what we're looking for. So we'll try and find it. So I think he recommended the Astoria. So we're going to see, I think I found a 22 footer right here. We're going to go in and take a look. 2203RB Astoria. Nice as this weekday and not a lot of people here it's going to be crowded on the weekend but we can get in here and be by ourselves i like this this is again the rear bath that has basically the whole rear lots of lots of lots of floor space uh, this one actually has a sliding glass door in the shower again the fans i hate because they're so freaking small upgrade upgrade all you manufacturers just use the max fan they're awesome again i don't know why people why they put a little medicine cabinet and not just go cabinet wall to wall 
just seems like wasted space on either side. You can get extra storage. Looks nice, gold handles. Storage top and bottom cabinets here in the bathroom. And even one under the sink. Lots of room on the toilet. Cubbies beside to store towels and whatever, I guess. Large sofa on the slide. Fridge is also on the slide. Similar uh, kitchen, only this is a, a split sink but and stainless, so it's a little, uh, well, mm, feels like stainless. Free burner stove, oven underneath. That's the microwave and some more storage on top. AC above and above the TV. Another storage, a couple of storage cabinet. This one also has the uh, fireplace that you can guess also serves as a heater and a little ambiance, I guess. Ambiance. And I uh, like this bed. Not a huge fan of the window right above the bed, but you know, looks like it has a uh, shade to close the light out. Little nightstands on either side with electrical on both sides. That's a problem with our Winnebago. Because you only have electrical outlet on one side, so we're sharing. Not the huge storage in here on either side of the bed, but you do have a small hanging closet on either side, so you can hang a few items and then uh, cabinets above. And there's that. Just oh, this is just a vent, no fan in there. So I would be, well, it would be nice to have a fan. But it looks like central air, so there are AC ducts on both sides. Ooh, even electrical. And it looks like you're ready for a TV in here if you want, because there is a cable outlet right there. This is where the large hall is, but it's a pocket door that goes inside there, so you can't, can't drill inside there. Okay, that's all right. Very spacious with the slide out. And with the slide in, you probably would not access the bedroom. Looks like it would block that, but you could use the bathroom. All right, that is the Storio. On to the next. Looking at the Cougar, oh, half ton. I wonder if that's the size truck you need to haul. <laughs> 24 footer, nice big exterior pass through storage up front with light inside and I'm not sure what that electrical is but it looks like it's already got solar two two doors one in the bedroom let's go in the back so what model are we looking at so rear kitchen oh we got music All right, so we got the dual sink the cover in the rear, window on either side, slide out with the uh, love seat or couch, storage on the side, storage, adjustable storage, actually has adjustable shelving, and your fridge right, at, right as you walk in looks like a dual fuel fridge again Dometic TV uh, small TV right there across from the you can swing it out probably watch it from the couch or sit in the dinette on one side and watch it bathrooms right in the middle corner shower with sliding glass door small plenty of room on the toilets at an angle and you got two ways to enter the bedroom through the bathroom or through the side there it's like uh, outlets on either side of the bed with a uh, little cubby underneath for storage hanging on either side each person has one of those and uh, above the bed a little more storage there I think our bins will fit that's not very tall but uh, 
Well, you get away from the dog to jump up on the bed, I guess. Covered on either side. I do like the bed, not a lot of room. One thing I should mention, I'm not a fan of floor um, vents, but they are in here. And this is again uh, in the roof, just a vent, no fan. The only fan I see is in the bathroom. And then you have the range hood. Lots of windows though. Again, not as dark as some of theirs, but again, dark cabinets and a little dark for me. That one's running about 54,000. And that was the Cougar. Rear shower. Shore power. Back. There's your water, city water connection up front, and the other side of that path through storage. Feels a little extra warm today, I think, because we're walking on the grass and the sun is out, and blue skies. Um, probably don't need a jacket, but uh, representing <laughs> the channel. So, see if we can pop into a few more. I'm in the cougar area, so we'll check out these cougars. <laughs> not, not that kind of cougar the brand of a trailer. Well, most of these Cougars over here are 25 and very similar to the one we just uh, walked in. So we're gonna, we're gonna go further down. Well, here's a 24 footer, two door. Looks like uh, almost full length awning and powered awning. So we will pop inside. Looks like this is the 24 SABWE. We walk in. The fridge again right on your left as you walk in rear kitchen very similar to the one we we're just in except the dining area uh -oh. we got loud, loud radio in here Made our back over, way back over to some Winnebago's. Here's a 24 footer. Uh, Voyage. Get inside here. The 2427 RB. RB meaning uh, rear bath. Again, that large back bathroom, but this time not a big counter, but then storage on either side of the vanity glass shower doors yeah again that tiny fan that is my <sighs> i'm really tired of seeing those in any oh but there's there's the ticket the comfy chair the recliner the center storage center storage console cup holder little table on either side and then, of course, if you're going to have the recliner, got to have the TV right across from you. Fireplace, audio system, three burner stove, microwave above, small uh, oven below, some storage drawers, some nice sink, and a decorative backsplash. Yep, single single bowl sink, which I think is actually preferable for us. Nice bit of counter space there in the middle with the window to look out. And that would be the side your picnic table or camping place would be. Rear door into the bedroom. Looks like uh, lots of space underneath for end outlets, I believe. I think on both sides. Yeah, this one's just lower on the front same over here down low cords you got hanging on hanging cupboard on either side ac in the bedroom ac in the main room and outlets and then 
if you wanted to somehow put a TV in here somewhere, again, you have a sliding door. I don't know where you're going to mount it. Um, ceiling mount television. But electric and cable. French style fridge. Yeah, that's nice. And Norcold. We're at a Coachman Freedom Express Ultralight Edition. Coachman. It's like a full outdoor kitchen here. The sink, fridge, cabinet. Side Let's head inside. Uh, all right, and uh, closet as you walk in. Lots of shelving. Let me give you a look at that. All right, shelves there. Control panel right on the other side. Oh, I don't know what that is. Some sort of light switch. Um, a front kitchen. Three burner stove, small oven underneath, Magic Chef. Uh, looks like a pretty good sized sink, dual, dual bowl. Big slide with uh, recliner chairs and a dinette. So you get the rear, ba rear, uh, rear, not rear bath, but rear. Uh, Here's your TV entertainment across from the thing. So corner shower with the sliding glass doors, small vanity area. Um, do the tap test. Oh, porcelain throne. Thumbs up. Bedroom. Oh, it's you sleep sideways. It's also on a slide. Uh, storage cabinet here, cabinets above the bed, lights, cabinets, place for a TV or whatever you want to put in there, entertainment system. More storage right there on the left as well as two large ones on the right. You don't have to crawl over your partner with a slide. There is room to walk around and barely get in on the other side. Some little tiny side tables on either side. You don't see outlets to charge your phone here, unless they're integrated. Well, I don't think so. All right. Or have any little bedroom devices, but there is electricity on the wall where they have room for the TV. And it looks like overhead speakers on either side, lights and, uh, vents just a standard vent in the bedroom but there are ducts for the AC and more speakers inside the living space storage above the recliners it's really big cooking eating area right here with the slide out and I'm sure with the slide in, you probably would not be able to access the kitchen sink, but you could get into the fridge, I'm guessing. And slide in, probably access the bathroom, but I don't think you could get into the bedroom. So that's this one. Freedom Express has a walk-on roof. And vaulted queen bed for more storage. I guess there's storage underneath. All right, that's, that's this one. Back outside, open the other hatch. Looks like it's got a piece for an outdoor table to hook on next to your uh, outdoor kitchen. A little, little extra storage area in the back. Next to the outdoor kitchen. Probably has a big pass through storage underneath the, uh, the bed. Yep, pass through storage and a little shelf on top. And some sort of slide. I think that's a slide for the bed storage. The 
mention. And for the stabilizers. So again, that's the 259 FKDS. The Freedom Express Limited Edition from Coachman. This is the Black Label Wolf Pup 16 FQBL. Got the outdoor fridge right here. Let's go inside. Full, full length uh, awning, looks like motorized. Oh, looks like this could be a Murphy type bed. A bench that probably folds down or jackknifes down. Makes room for the bed. Uh, Small dinette right here with a lot of window. <laughs> you burn my legs. Looks like a round, round bowl sink. Two burner stove. Two burner stove and a microwave up top. Very small. I would hope this would be a 12 volt fridge. It might be. It might, it just might be. And then the rear, rear bath, oh, mounting for something there. T oh, TV mount, I'm guessing, right there. Ooh, dark bath, no. Oh, but it has a full size fan, like that, like that. A little dark in here. But, uh, ooh, fancy shower. Look at that. Rain shower head, oh, it's plastic. Yeah. Um, and a shower curtain. Good size, yeah, plastic thrown. Eh, decent size bathroom. Good size sink. Normal residential bathroom sink, but plastic for weight. Stainless is not heavy, but stainless still sinks. Um, no slide, so wouldn't have to worry about that. A little bit uh, tight, but that could that could work. Got a lot of storage here. Yeah, we got one there. Yeah, I don't see where you'd use a pantry. Mm. Nope. I don't know where you put your food underneath the sink. I guess. Yeah, not much there. That would be challenging, but it is uh, small. I think it's a 16 footer. You make some concessions. This one a little bit bigger. Look, uh, it's like an 18 footer, similar design in the. Oh no, never mind. This is a toy hauler. The bedroom and lots of open space. Just strap down bikes or toys and a, we've got a mid uh, bathroom here so this is for you guys taking out uh, some toys on the road you lock them down in here it looks like a removable um, dining area put the move that thing out of the way or move it out onto the uh, deck here it drops down this is totally not for us Another Wolf Pup 16 footer. So again, it's going to be pretty tight. Um, up front. Um, rear dining area, which that's kind of nice. You get a nice view. Um, I think this might also be a 12 volt fridge. Maybe it has solar and two burner stove. Which I always say two's plenty. Three burners nice, gives you more space, but two burners is plenty. Microwave above. Again, the round sink, similar to a uh, other trailers. I don't know. Round is good. No corners. <laughs> Stuff to get stuck in. Um, 
side to side bed, so it'll probably have to be climbing over. That's not fun. And then I look in the bath, you got a little tight shower, tight bathroom. That might not work for me and my wife. So we'll keep looking. Another 16 footer FQ. It's like a convertible front kind of Murphy type bed. Two burner stove. I think we're in something almost exactly like this. Um, I do like the lighter wood. Doesn't make it feel as closed in or dark. You got the, looks like a possible TV mount. Here's all your controls. Bathroom. Um, shower with a curtain. Again, I don't under, still don't understand why not just build a all the way across rather than mount these on the wall. I don't the plastic uh, vanity sink, plastic toilet, Thetford this time, step flush. All right. I like the interior more. But uh, seems a little, almost just a tiny bit smaller than we like. But it's about the right size. But just some of the amenities aren't there for us. Here's a Gray Wolf Limited. Looks like it might be a 20 footer, the 20 RD SE uh, rear dinette. Yep. Comfortable. The bed's out. I don't know. If, I think it might. Well, no, there's storage underneath. It folds up. Curtain for privacy. It's your bath. Shower curtain. Decent van in there. At least they figured it out. But plastic toilet and very, very little room. No elbow room on that toilet. Um, good amount of space in the back here. Looks like you got a full size sink. A little bit of counter space. A little extra on this side of the oven. Hmm. And a mount for maybe a TV. And then a rear dinette. U-shaped. I need a... Okay. An ever chill ever chill fridge. Looks like that might be... 12 volt possibly. Multi airflow. Yep. I see. And reflective. And uh, looks like a. Oh, magnetic cutting board. Backsplash cutting board. Multi use. Um, small three burner stove, small oven underneath, and a um, Toshiba microwave on top. Very, very small. Reeded glass on those cabinets above. And in the bedroom, you got outlets on both sides. This appears to be hanging storage on either side of the bed, correct? Oh, and it goes down a little bit, so you have a little extra space. And small cabinets above. Nice, but. Uh, I guess it would be okay, some concessions, but I think the bathroom is not going to work for us. And I'm not sure about that workmanship right there. That's a little shoddy. All right, on to the next. All right, I think I've seen as much as I care to see getting pretty warm and uh, melting out here. I didn't think it'd be this hot in October, but uh, it's probably not that hot. It's just a sunny day and uh, humid reflecting off the uh, grass out here in the field where they're having the Madonna RV show going on all this weekend through, I believe, the 10th and uh, right, 6, 7, 8, through the 9th, 8 through Sunday in San Luis Obispo, California. This is Dean for Clark Adventures. We'll see you next time.